Doc! Doc! We are live! Good evening and welcome to the second episode of Brains On. My name is Doc. Tonight, four matric students will stand a chance to win one bursary. They will compete in order to win a scholarship at any university of their choosing. But before that, let me introduce you to the champion of last week's episode, Keenan. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Keenan. I'm 19 years old and yeah, I'm here to win this scholarship. For those of you who just joined us, Keenan only needs two more wins in order to guarantee him that scholarship. But before that, let me introduce you to the contestants who are going to try and win that prize for themselves. Hi, my name is Hagar. Hi, I am Alexander. Hi, I'm Cindy Sioya. I'm 18 years old. I think Brainson is an excellent opportunity for me to just learn new things and advance my career. And I am 19 years old. And I know I can win this competition because I scored the best grades in school. And also, people say I'm a genius. <laughs> and I'm 17 years old. I'd just like to win the scholarship so I can make my family proud. Hi, Gogo. I'm Kulegele. Gogo. Some interesting contestants, as you can see. All of them representing their high school. Even more reason to bring the pressure, guys. Let's begin the games. Our first challenge, Hippocampus. Welcome into the Hippocampus. I am Brainiac, and I will guide you in this journey across the brain. In this round, the contestants will have 35 seconds to answer a series of questions covering any school subject. Each question is worth 10 points. Once the time is up, whoever scored fewer points shall leave the show. The rest of them shall move on to the next round. Now, I hope I'm not the only one that heard that voice. South Africa, it's time to turn your brains on. In the 17th century, which Dutch explorer, Dutch explorer founded the city of Cape Town? Keenan. Mm -hmm. Correct. Who discovered electricity? Hagar. Benjamin Franklin. Correct. Na represents which element? <laughs> Alex. Sodium. That is correct. Albert Einstein created the sum E equals. <laughs> Cindy. Correct. 20% of 2 is equal to what? Keenan. 0.04. Correct. Nice job, people. Too bad time is up. What? I thought the answer was 0 0.03. Nah, nah, nah. Get a calculator, bro. It's 0 0.4. Hmm, there are some things we just do not learn in school. Let's see who's moving on to the next round. Contestants moving to the next round are Kelvin with 30 points, Hagar with 20 points, and Cindy also with 10 points. Congratulations. Oh, shame, Alex. It looks like you're going home. How do you feel? I am very disappointed in myself. I really thought I could win this. Mm, should have answered more questions correctly then. But, do not fear, mm. you are not going home empty-handed. Alex, rejoice because you are not leaving empty-handed. As a token of our appreciation, we would like to offer you a package of school furniture for next year. With the official Brains On board game, enjoy! Thank you. Let's move on to the next part of the game called Auditory Cortex. After the break. We know that education is important to you, as much as you are important to us. For you are the future of this nation, and we at Varsity Bank believe in you. That's why we want to give you the best chance at success. Varsity Bank, your success is our concern. Proud sponsors of Brains On. <laughs> Do you know what happens when you mix Mentos and Coke? <laughs> no! All right then, maybe another time. Welcome back to Brains On. Unfortunately, one of the contestants has left us, but fortunately for you guys, that means you're one step closer to winning the scholarship. Keenan, feeling confident? Still warming up, huh? Hmm. What about you, Cindy? In the last round, you had 10 points. How are you feeling about that? 
No, it's very nice, very nice. Hega, I like your not gonna give up without a fight type of vibe. It's very interesting. I'm trying my best. Mm, indeed, indeed. Brins, Brainiac, please tell us what's up next. In this challenge, six audio clips will be played in order to test your capacity to recognize sounds. Each contestant will have 30 seconds to get the right answers. At the end of the round, only the two high scores will be allowed into the last round. Without further delay, South Africa, it's time to turn your brains on. I'm pretty sure that was my line. Doc, who says that? Oh, that's Brainiac. My artificial intelligence that I created. Every mad scientist has one. Isn't that just like Tony Stark and Jarvis? Who's that? Hmm. Moving on. All right then. Let's begin with our champion. Keenan, are you ready? No, oh, Doc. Are you ready? So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, when did Martin Luther King Jr. make this iconic speech? 1963. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. In the action movie Taken, released in 2014, which actor made this statement? Liam Neal. Ah, oh, time's up. Keenan, that was great. Cindy, are you ready? Mm -hmm. In 2004, Walt Disney was sued for the unlawful use of a song created by essay musician Solomon Linda in the movie The Lion King. Was it Hakuna Matata or The Lion Sleeps Tonight? Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Which famous Italian composer composed the classical symphony that we just heard? Time's up. It was Solomon Linda who composed The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And the Italian composer was Viv Ladi, who composed the classical song Four Seasons. Guys, but how was I supposed to know that? Casper in your vest, maybe. <sighs> I know, I know. General knowledge. Hega, hey, yes. are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> This sound was a part from a famous, famous British TV show. Which one is it? Shaka Zulu. In which video game is the famous sound that is famous known for from the classic sound of Game Over? Super Mario. <laughs> My brother and I used to play it all the time when we were younger. Did you ever play Super Mario? Because that wasn't correct. Whew. Time's up. Let's tally up the points. Hager, one. Keenan, two. Cindy, ish, zero. But do not be upset. Brainiac, tell her what she's going home with. Cindy, don't be sad. For you, my dear, we have prepared a collection of classical music to help you discover this unique genre. Additionally, you are going home with the latest Samsung High speakers and the official Brains On board game. Enjoy. Thank you for being on the show, Cindy. We pick up after this with the two finalists. Proud sponsors of Brains On. Welcome back, South Africa, to the final segment of the games. We are left with our contestants, Keenan and Hager. After this, we will see who will be victorious and win the scholarship. But first, Feel free, contestants, to take a sip of our drink, Rockerola, the brain-stimulating energy drink. The name of the game, Frontal Cortex. Brainiac, tell us the rules. In this challenge, a face-off will take place. How this works is that three scrambled words will be shown, and in order to win, a contestant needs to figure out and adjust the letters to form one word in 15 seconds. A contestant who fails to succeed in this challenge will automatically lose and be sent home. Good luck and may the best brain win. It's time to turn your brains on, South Africa. We begin the games in three seconds. Three, two, one, press play. <laughs> Two. 
I got That's it. three correct for Hager. Congratulations, Hager. You are the winner of this game. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> <sighs> the games are not over. Yes, Brainiac, I've added a bonus round to really test their mental capacities. Answer this equation, and you will be victorious. You have 20 seconds. Time begins now. <laughs> Congratulations, Hager. Oh you are victorious. <laughs> Contestants, please join me on the stage. How do you feel, Keenan? Uh, honestly, I thought I might have won, but uh, I guess I did. Got the better brain. Do not fear, though. You'll not be going home empty handed. You are winning a Pack Book Pro. Uh, Thank you for joining us on the show. Congratulations on winning the game, Hager. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so ecstatic. But you have a big decision to make. You can choose to either stay in the game for two more episodes, meaning that you are one step closer to winning the scholarship, or you can choose to go home now with a random amount of money, keeping in mind that you do not know how much money you will be receiving. What is your decision? I'll go through for the scholarship. You heard it first here, ladies and gentlemen. Hega will be seen next week. Same time, same place. My name is Doc. Thank you for joining us yet again. I have been your friendly host, Brainiac.